Hey, welcome back to another week and another wash hour. My name's Nicole and I started the 30 day hair detox in January 2021. So the purpose of my hair videos is just documenting my progress with cleansing, conditioning and styling my hair every week as I continue to hit different levels in my hair goals. So thank you for tuning in today, right? Welcome if it's your first time, welcome back. To my frequent watchers it's nice to see you again i hope you're in the comments on this instant premiere telling me hi y'all now let me know you're there i like it when y'all speak to me okay so on the previous wash hour i styled my hair with a foam and a flaxseed gel so with that in mind right it's early i'm still sleepy i worked out this morning and I'm still perspiring from that workout but anywho so because of that um, I'm going to make sure I use an all-purpose shampoo I'm going to use my AG shampoo um, to cleanse my hair to get it really nice and clean because the dew foam is awesome but it does have PVP in the ingredients but one thing you'll learn if you're in see some curls is it's not just important the ingredients of a product but where the ingredient lies because usually um, when people list ingredients for cake for shampoo for things they list it in order of the most concentration to the least so if it says water as the first ingredient then you know a product is mostly water mostly could be you know 30 percent and the other things are you know each 10 percent mostly could be um you know 60 percent it depends on their formulation but one thing you'll learn and see some curls is how to look at the labels how to evaluate ingredients and then where they lie in the ingredient um list uh has a a bearing right on whether you choose to use a product or not so like i had bought a product that had pvp as like the second ingredient so that's too much for me personally because i don't want it to coat my hair you know long-term use and have to really like clarify my hair all the time to get that product off my hair but with the do pvp is the sixth ingredient but even with that i'm still going to make sure that i get my hair really clean of it before you know i move on to the next wash hour so i will be using my ag um balance balance shampoo and I won't be using the conditioner this time. And check the description box for a discount code for AG. And um, and I've been using AG, right? Y'all know this for over a year before I got my affiliate code. But now that I have it, use it, right? Go get you a discount and support, you know, my affiliateness so they will continue to want to affiliate with me, y'all. Okay? Help, help, help me out. All right, so. I'm gonna, that's the only uh, thing I'm gonna make sure I get, cleanse it, and then I'm followed up with a moisture poo. Um, and then a moisture conditioner is how I will do my hair today and then go back to my regular um, main uh, styling uh, that I usually do. What do I call it? My <sighs> signature, I guess I would call it, my signature styling combo. The one I use most every week, you know, throughout the year that I use 80 to 90% of the time. That's what I'm gonna do with the see my base gel. And then one, one, I'm gonna do one topper gel. And then look what I got. I got the, the new bottle. Okay, so I'm gonna be using that, that today. If you want more information about how you know to use this product then i mean that's why i say you know see some curls because they give you a better explanation of you know why you would use it but i will tell you that it is a it's a gel but it has the anti-humidity anti-frizz property so i'll use it because i live in a very humid climate y'all know that what's the humidity today is it come on phone the humidity is i feel it in the air Sixty-three degrees, eighty-two percent humidity. So that's 
that's the environment I live in all the time, y'all. If it's 50% humidity, like I think that's low for where I live. I'm like, oh, it's only 50%. Yes. But yeah, so I need I need to live with a, a topper that's going to give me that extra barrier to the uh, humidity frizz. When I'm wanting like a super defined set, right? This last set, I wasn't really going for major definition long term. I was going for uh, speed quickness to set my hair because of how my life was set up so that's another great thing about us learning our hair is that once your hair gets hydrated and healthier then you can have fun um with combos and figuring out you know how long this is going to last what finish it's going to have so you can have options depending on your time and your circumstances for how you might want to set your hair on a certain day just depending on different factors if you don't have you know the full time for your hair to cure well you might want to figure out a foam combo or um, I have a combo that I like with Innersense that is quicker drying and fluffier but it's not as quicker drying as the foam right but it's quicker drying than the um, aloe gel with the you know topper so it's, it's a thing but I'm enjoying figuring out the things so I'm gonna go cleanse my hair condition it detangle it apply my base gel and then I will come back out here to style for y'all and I'm excited to see how my set does this week I got some exciting things I'm gonna be working on this week work-wise so thanks for watching if you found anything interesting about this video up to this point then Click that subscribe button. I appreciate your effort. Hit the thumbs up, right, for engagement purposes. And comment, right, with what you like about the video. Um, and consider supporting me on Patreon, right? YouTube memberships, if you go to my, when you go to my actual YouTube channel page and next to the subscribe button, it should be a membership button. But full disclosure, I think YouTube takes like 30% of membership so patreon actually doesn't take as much so if y'all want to support me it's the same i put the same on patreon as i mostly put on my youtube membership so support my patreon because i get a bigger a bigger cut all right and then that if you support me on patreon and then you have like a specific question that if i don't mention it right about products like what are you using and why and how is it then i will be more than happy to answer that for y'all in patreon or on youtube memberships but hopefully on patreon okay so yeah i appreciate you in advance if you've chosen to support me over on patreon i put the link below i think it's what patreon.com slash adorned by nicole okay all right i'll be back y'all i've realized that i have like three different ways or four that i apply usb to my hair depending on how i'm feeling right so my sister's on spring break she's a teacher so she's texting me a lot so if y'all hear my phone dang it it's probably her texting me all right so um saying that to say that i'm gonna have to do a couple more now that is not her telemarketer have to do um, a couple more videos I guess to show the the different ways that I apply it um, but it's I mean it still gets on there sorry it's like the last of this bottle and I'm trying to get get it out but it won't it's not enough to like pump pump out so I'm trying to work it out And that's another thing about um, if you pay more attention to like how much product is in your hand versus how many pumps that's more helpful because you may not always be using the pump Oop, oh, there goes some product if your product ain't flopping you know what I say your curl curls may not come out popping now come on all right because we got 
all this deliciousness in here, all this quality product. We can't just throw it in the garbage can. I'm thinking to mop top or not to mop top. That is the question. I, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it this time. Not, not doing it. See if some still left in here a little bit. How, how do I get that out, y'all? Yeah, I'm just gonna, now you turn it upside down so gravity will pull it down. That's what I'm about to do with this. All right, there we go. Leave it right there. Okay, I forgot to part my hair in the shower. It's gonna be all right. Oh. Distributed. When I skip this step accidentally, I notice the difference. So this is very important for how my set turns out. Is taking the time to distribute the product through my hair. Have you tried this and does it help? Yep, if y'all have partnered with a tight curl specialist, pay attention to how they're doing your hair, how they're shampooing, you know, ask a couple of questions, tell them what you do with your technique to see if they have any input about how you can improve. Because one thing that helped me even just with my saturating my hair with water before even applying any product, shampoo, conditioner, anything, is when my stylist told me because you're high density, like, Pull your hair apart to let the water get in there. You know, just running the water over my hair isn't enough, right? So that helps so much with my hydration because when I just made that little tweak, then I'm getting more water in and throughout my hair. So pay, you know, you go for these visits, like it's an opportunity to learn about your hair. Now I'm not saying to get a full education like when you see the packages where they're literally showing you how to shampoo, how to condition, but you can ask a question here and there. Or just observe how they're, even when they're styling, uh, my stylist puts me in front of a mirror so I can see what she's doing with my hair. So that can be helpful too, just observing how she uh, does the hair, how she applies the product, how my hair looks when she applies products to my hair so that I can try to imitate that when I'm at home and that's helpful. So not so much always asking, but even just observing what's happening. That's why the visual library and see some curls is so helpful because they tell you, but you can also see it, but it's not the, still not the same as when someone is working on your personal hair um, and you're seeing how they're accomplishing what they need to accomplish for your hair so that you need one-on-one -on -one experience okay right section i'm gonna part this when i get up to this part i just hit myself in the eye you know what every time it's like a gamble am i gonna hit flop myself in the eye with product or not but i don't even mind because these botanical plant-based products are so quality and gentle like they don't even burn my eye when they get my eye you know i guess my body's like oh this is from the earth it's okay Mm -hmm. 
Right. Take this time now to <laughs> excuse me. Uh, let me know those of you who are watching the instant premiere, or if you're watching after, right? The instant premiere, but if you're in the instant premiere chat, let me know where you are watching from today like home work you know what what state what area right of the united states you might say i'm watching you might not want to tell me what state you might want to say south north south east west i saw i saw a meme that said wherever my hair um ties you know, go when they disappear. I hope they're happy. It happens with your hair clips too. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to come back when I'm up here. So I'll see you then. So take this time to, you know, chat in the comments. Hey, y'all, how you doing? I appreciate you. Okay. And just to reiterate, like what, what you see is what you get. I don't, I use shampoo, conditioner, and some gels um, for, for my sets or phones, depending on how I'm setting every week, but no um, oils, no um, butters. I consider leave-ins a cream but I don't use them as my main styler. And I use them when I want like a fluffier, like I use a cream, I've learned to use a cream leave-in when I want a fluffier set, but it still has more hold than a foam set is what I have learned for my hair. So it's not just a matter of omitting things from your hair diet, so to speak, but it's just being a more mindful, more conscientious consumer and hair doer and thinking, okay, what do I wanna do to my hair? What do I need to accomplish this? And so that streamlining, because if a product isn't serving my desired result then I can omit it especially if it's going to negatively affect like when I used to um I know what I was doing before Thursday hair detox and I would be one of those people whose like hair would never dry because I do like put all this product on my hair like this all saturate my hair with leave-in and I don't know what I don't even know what styles I was doing I just remember my hair taking forever to dry so one of the many things also that I learned like when I was this started, my journey here started with me being in search of a quality foam, right? And so learning just from that short interaction with my sister that, hey, leave the leave-in out and then just see what happens with your set. The fact that it dried so quickly, it was, it was like a twist out I was doing. It was more defined than anything I'd ever done and it lasted more than one day. I was like, where you learn that at? She's like, I've been telling you. I'm like, yeah, I wasn't really listening though, but now that I've seen some results for myself, I'm I'm ready now. Tell me where you where where you learned that. So then she sent me the I am Black Girl Curls Instagram link to their page. And let's say this was December of 2020, so that was just I started looking at their content that was just in time for when they started that 30 day hair detox that January. And so that's how I ended up, long story short, in the 30 day hair detox. When Elise had just had a little babe, her baby son, and she would get on there with the newborn and the 
I think her daughter was four at the time on the lives and be talking to us and I didn't get everything she was saying but I had seen results enough to say okay I'm learning the new thing I don't know before you know she's a licensed cosmetologist who's been working at this for what 15 years 10 15 years um, I'm looking on the page and seeing the results and the different um, people with different essential elements in their hair people whose hair I felt looked like my hair and I'm like, okay, that was enough for me to say, well, I could at least try it for 30 days. And then if I don't like it, then I can go back to doing something else. You know. But clearly I liked it because now it's a lifestyle. It's a, it's a hairstyle. All right, that's, what, that's where our part's going to be today, this, this week. Oopsies. I almost made it. You know what happened? I was putting it down and then I hesitated because I was like, oh, I wanted to wipe it off first. And then that hesitation is what made it fall. All right, we're good. I got my brush here. I had to use it in certain sections in the back, but I haven't had to use it thus far. But usually I end up using it more on this side, especially in my little area that we're still working on. <laughs> Excuse me. So I have it here just in case. Do you use a tool when you're doing your specifically like wash and goes and or yeah with your wash and goes why not <laughs> if you don't why not and are you using the proper tool like are you using the tool that's done because all brushes are not all tools aren't created equal all brushes aren't detangler brushes right yeah let's see it's a little more snaggly oh good you all right thought i was gonna have to get the brush out but it was like no 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 give me one more chance so that one more chance did it we don't know what's gonna happen up here though. But it's fine. We're gonna do what we need to do to get the job done. It's fine. I just want to make sure all those hairs are in alignment because over here I know I got some shorter and some longer so the reason I'm using the brush on this section is not to detangle but it's to help smooth all my hairs into alignment you know the shorter hairs the longer hairs and get them all on the same plane okay It's interesting that lately like my hair has been liking better to when I get up into this more dense section it's okay we'll, we'll just smooth it back out if you catch some hair in the back it's been liking it better for me to part it finger part it on a slant versus going straight across My 
arms got a little tired. I told y'all I worked out this morning. So, you know, holding your arms up, that's a whole nother workout too sometimes when your muscles are pre-exhausted. Gotta take a little break. It's okay. close my eye because I was afraid if it flopped forward it's gonna hit me in the eye not because it was hurting or anything I was like protecting my eyeballs just in case That's it. Take this extra product and put it in your hair. starting right I'm gonna push that back a little bit more because I want this to get dry okay dryer one hour high heat and then that's it one hour under the hooded hair dryer this is where we're starting it's early enough in the day it's not even noon yet for me to just go about my day and let my hair air dry but it's not even super wet inside and foamy yep there is though right so if at the end of the day that's still wet and foamy like that then I would just go in and dry it no big deal For now, this is good enough for me to get out and go run my errands today, grocery shop, and stuff. So I will see you on day two. Hey, welcome to day two hair. Day two is twoing, right? I'm still enjoying y'all that this is filled in so like you can see my my shelf is shelving like it's never shelved before. So, um, today, this hair has been worked out on. It's still damp. Uh, I did a HIIT workout. And uh, on day two, since my hair is more dried and cured, if I have thicker sections, I should have saved some for y'all. But I would just go in. Let me see if I can find one. That's one. And just more pull them apart. Because sometimes when the sections stay bigger, they tend to stick out so it's like obstructing here's a big section right here right a bigger section so if I if I separate them then they lay better that's still where is it? doing the thing right there yep and it's part of a bigger a bigger piece so just separate it even if this one's not super thick but it's still sticking out funny so I'm gonna separate it and try to help it blend in more. So 
Yeah, I'm excited to start continuing to grow this down and get more hair here. You see in the back how where it's shorter and my finer sections are. I don't know if it's looking like that today, but yesterday it was like clump, clump, clump. I hope it's more blended back there today. There. So this is my day two here. I will definitely see you on day three. Have a productive day. Hey, welcome to day three hair. She's got shape. She's got movement. She's got definition. I was trying to do some math today because <clears throat> you see how this is like on point. <clears throat> Allergies, the pollen, things coat my vocal cords, so excuse my voice. But see how this, that's just lint. Yep, it is. This is like right how it's supposed to be. And then here you can see where this doesn't meet up the same way. So this is a hole. So I was guesstimating that that was maybe... I don't know like an inch maybe more in some places that still needs to to grow out so that would be another two to four months which is fine because we're you know we're about the length retention but it will definitely be you know we all have the same amount of time but you know what you do with your time what the making the best use of your time you know determines what kind of results and outcomes you get so in the meantime, you know, it's still going to grow, still going to cleanse, condition, style it, um, keep it in as healthy condition as possible. So as my healthy new hair grows in, I keep it right and keep trimming off the old hair. So just drawing attention to this is what you call a hole. Yep. And it's like this hole right through here, right? That's where I focus my Olaplex when I do my Olaplex treatment. And I, I described it to someone like when you have a relaxer and you're growing it out and people get a big chop and eventually that relaxed hair starts breaking off as the natural hair grows in. So it can be the same with your old natural hair versus your new natural hair, especially with the um, unhealthy practices I had before, over protective styling, over, you know, straightening, not cleansing, not conditioning as frequently as I should, um, using oils and, and my hair for moisture instead of water. So all those things did give my hair some damage. And so I'm growing it out and in. All right, so I will definitely see y'all on day four. Hey, welcome to day four hair, right? Yep, day four hair. I did work out on my hair, so this is maybe, this is the third workout on this set. So she's doing pretty good. She's starting to shrink and frizz here first because of the workout Asian. And also I didn't sleep with the hair buff and the satin scarf the last couple nights. I just did the hair buff, so that's on me. But she's doing pretty good. So I will definitely see you on yeah, I'm not gonna show you the inside because you know I got my hair just so, and so I wanted to, to stay thusly. But I'll see you on day five. Hey, day five hair. The frizz is setting in, right? But she put up a good fight. Look, this is allergies. That's pollen stuff right there. See that irritation? But yeah, so imagine. Imagine when this all grows out, you know, completely healthy, then it'll be looking like this side on day five. So then I won't be having to reset my hair on the counter frizz because we won't have that issue anymore because all my healthy hair, healthy new hair would have grown, grown in. So I'm excited. I will definitely be resetting my hair on the next day, day six. And for what I say, three workouts on this set and no mop top. I say we did really good this week. So I will see you on day six. Hey, 
Hey and yay, welcome to day six hair. I worked out today, my hair is still damp. My little damaged area is frizzing, but you know, it's something to be said about having an issue, but like knowing what it is and what the solution is. So I'm a lot more chill about it and not feeling like I'm crazy because all of a sudden it's, it was acting unpredictable. So uh, next wash hour, every other week, right? It'll be Olaplex day. And so I will, excuse me. I also appreciate about this set. Let me show you in here. That I did not use mop top, right? But it's, um, sorry, I just started getting fascinated with my hair. Anyway, um, my boy. <laughs> I worked out three to four times on this set and it still lasted for six days and I think it will look even better. I've been a little lazy this week. I haven't been doing every night, maybe the first night or first and second nights. I know at least the first night I did my hair buff and then the satin scarf on top of it, but I haven't done it every night like I did the previous week. So who knows if I had and if my hair would have lasted a, a uh, easily a couple more days so <sighs> I'm still like coming down from my workout y'all and last night right I slept my hair buff off like I woke up and it was like like that so that that's unusual but but it can happen yeah so I might need to secure it down with a satin scarf as well <laughs> to, to help that out Thanks for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting, um, supporting my uh, channel, my Instagram, right? Uh, let me just let y'all know my next Instagram goal is to, this year um, is to get to 10K. So last year, my goal was with uh, YouTube to get that to 1K and then from there, just kind of see what happens. And then so now that I've reach that goal now I'm focusing more on getting my uh, Instagram to 10k so any help that y'all could give me with uh, clicking that follow button on Instagram with you know sharing posts and your stories and uh, asking other people to follow my page I appreciate it and I'm also working on on my adornbynicole.com page I'm working on building the blog section of it so that's that's interesting and new so working on new things behind the scenes but sharing with you a little bit of what my uh business goals are because this is this is a business y'all i mean i enjoy doing it right but i'm doing this to uh make a living work toward making a living <laughs> so i appreciate all your support in those ways but of course i want to build it um uh, with integrity i want to get uh partnerships with brands that i already use and believe in that's why i like my affiliate um collab my affiliation whatever with ag hair because it's something i literally use every single week right so i can talk to you and feel comfortable recommending the product to you because it's actually something that i actually use very frequently and I'm looking forward to exploring other products in their line and seeing how they work on my hair but I'm very apprehensive about it like I got this and I got a foam that I want to try out just to see how it works and I may not like it for my every single week um set but at least I will know how it works so just like with that combo with um the curl mix as my base and then the dew foam on top of that i like that combo for my hair then i can learn how to incorporate these products as well and figure out a, com a combo right that i like with those products and then have that in mind for certain things i might want to do on a given week given my time constraints given where i have to go and how i want to look and all that stuff so i'm enjoying that part as well didn't expect to be talking to you this long on day six, but thanks for hanging out with me. And I will definitely see you on the next wash hour, which is a Olaplex wash hour. Have a great day.